Shalom Israel. JD Nija here. Thursday. It is the 25th of February. Um, I wanted to break something down real quick that some of you may not realize. Okay, so there's, before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Hadash, uh, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father and Creator of all things, gave us a breath of life. Bahashem, coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, our Savior, our Big Brother, our Deliverer, and the Rechach Hadash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the knowledge, wisdom to break down the scriptures. Um, Salutations to the 144 <clears throat> elect, <clears throat> excuse me, Slaki brothers, under construction. There will be the temple of the new kingdom, the rulers in righteousness, the one third that will make it. Salutations. Okay, today I'm going to just break down something real quick. I think I've said before, and I, I'm, I want to make sure everyone understands what I meant by that. At one point I said, um, the crosses and all that, um, uh, I forgot how I said it. It's not, <laughs> it's not anything that we get so tickled about, even though it's the, uh, very important because um, that's the curse that Jesus, Yahweh Shai, took for us, the our brother got up on that cross and he took the curses for us. So that's why it says any man who hangs from a tree is cursed. And that's the scripture that goes with uh, the Lord Yahushai being cursed up on that tree. Okay, so, um, and to um, follow up on that thought, um, the reason... The cross doesn't hold the significance in this place as we would think it would, or as we don't stand by it in a way that a lot of people stand by it is because it's been made into a, such an idol and it's been hijacked by wickedness. So when when they when some of these wicked people wear the cross, they're wearing the cross because. Cursed is every man who hangs on the tree. But when we wear the cross, we wear it because every man who hangs on a tree is cursed. It's the same thing, but they're, um, they're using it as an idol to, uh, to mock. So I just wanted to make that clear that the cross, the cross is heavy. The cross is what we have to bear every day to, um, when we walk with the Lord when we walk with Yahweh Shai, when we walk in the truth of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, we are carrying our cross and that's probably another reason why um, the cross has a little bit of ambivalence for um, the men of the Lord because it's um, that's where the suffering is at okay so anyhow and the second part of the message is how, um, you know, plantation Christianity, they really love to think that Jesus was, um, Yahweh Shai, excuse me, Slaki brothers, Yahweh Shai was a, um, uh, softy, uh, always love you, and he's all good all the time, and uh, no, 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 no. So when, um, Yahweh came into the temple after he, would, he had been gone for a while, after he had started his ministry. He came back and he saw the, uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the, and the people in the temple selling goods uh, for uh, oblation or um, remission of sins. So <laughs> what he did was he made a, uh, he made a, he sat down took his time, made a whip, 
made a nice whip, sat down and twisted up some ropes. Might have put some sharp shit in it. Who knows what exactly he put in that whip. But he sat down and he told himself, I'm going to get these niggas, man. These motherfuckers. And he took his time and he made a whip. And that's how he drove all those bastard motherfucking Pharisees out of there. So I'll read the scripture where it talks about that. It is in... Um, uh, John chapter two, I'll start at 12. Yeah. Uh, Yehoshai cleanses the temple. And after he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews Passover was at hand. And Yehoshai went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple, those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting and when he had made a scourge of small cords he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves take these things hence make not my father's house a house of merchandise. So he sat down and made a scourge of small cords. Let me see if it has a... Uh -uh -uh. So it doesn't really talk about the, the whip he made, but he, he, he took his time. He made a whip and he went in there and he basically bash the shit out of in, anyone that got in his way. So if you think that um, Yahweh Shai was this kissy, kissy, lovey, lovey, all the time type of guy, no, he got, he got pissed and he took matters into his own hands and he did what he had to do. That pissed him off and he took care of it. So um, between the cross and... Um, the the false religion of of plantation Christianity and and these ones where you have to tithe and you have to make these motherfuckers rich so they can fly around on their planes and laugh to, uh, about you to each other about how they steal your money. If that's what you're digging on, you're lost in the sauce. God don't need your money. He's got plenty. He's got more riches than you can imagine. So, Israel, remember, <clears throat> the cross is for us to carry, not to wear. It's not, it's not a symbol of anything other than pain and suffering for our sins. So, if you want to walk around um, being proud of your sin and being proud that... Um, that uh, Yahushai had to do that because we're such weak vessels and we can't um, stay in order, go right ahead. I'm not wearing no cross. And I'm pretty sure most of my brothers don't wear crosses either because there's too many devils that wear crosses. And if you wear a cross, people mostly are yeah, he, either they're going to think you're a devil or they're a devil for thinking you're not a devil. <laughs> if you can, if you can receive that. All right. I just wanted to make a quick one about uh, the Lord sitting down and making that whip to drive out the money changers. He sat down and made a whip to beat their sad asses out of there. All right. I'll praise this to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. To the next one, Shalom.